Hello, my name is Patrick John Coleman. My name is Merrick. Patrick John Coleman is brainwashing a new boyfriend. Just remember who Patrick John Coleman actually is. I hear a spirit really loudly. Doctor, I, I know you probably hear this from patients all the time, but I think I'm cured. You're right, I hear it all the time. We're going to talk about how psychiatric diagnoses are bullshit. I'm afraid it doesn't work that way. The unfortunate truth about Patrick John Coleman is that he is diagnosed schizophrenic. You don't get well from something like this overnight. He's been told that he should be on antipsychotic medication. Every year or so, he has a mental breakdown. Every so often, he dabbles once again into drug abuse. I'm on heroin. I'm on heroin. I'm on heroin. I'm on heroin. Heroin. I'm on heroin. And this happens time and time again, and when he comes back to YouTube, as he does, he very often says, I'm going to make a great change, guys. I'm going to become a new man. I'm going to get back into comedy, because apparently he used to do comedy. Return to comedy. Return to comedy. So just imagine how funny it's going to be when I have a league of spirit guides and all of this behind me and doing comedy. And finally, I'm going to um, return to doing stand-up. Um, I've recently retired. You are retired? Uh, yes. And uh, now... Physical or mental? There is way too much to talk about. Just way, way, way too much. But then he changes his tune, he continues with the old tricks, and talks about things like how psychiatry is bullshit. We're going to talk about how psychiatric diagnoses are bullshit. He'll select out articles, and from those articles, he'll select out information he wishes to cover, and he will exaggerate it, far beyond the exaggeration already in the article, and he will simply say, this proves my point, that I am not, in fact, diagnosed with that medical condition, nor indeed do I need the medication. And one reason why he does this is because he chooses, he prefers to believe that he has some kind of gift. Why are you so quick to jump to the conclusion I'm crazy? I mean, I'm dangerous, I'm out of control. Get it? Got it? Good. I'm a mission body for the Catholic Church. I don't really exist. That's why I have no, have no fingerprints. That's why I have no social security number. That's because I'm kind of acting that way, aren't I? Full disclosure time. I'm like the Terminator, but of love. You don't get well from something like this overnight. You do if there were an alien organism inside you making you think that you were sick when you really weren't. He claims he's a shaman, that he has a spiritual gift, that the visions, the images, the hallucinations and delusions and paranoia he suffers is in fact the shamanic gift. Mm -hmm. And you uh, found this out how? A cello told me. A cello? He's an alien old man we met on P3C 599. Dr. Jackson, you haven't had any visitors. No, of course I haven't. See, Michello is dead. The problem with that is, it's not just him ruining his own life, little by little. It's him ruining his own life, yes, but ruining many other lives too. By creating excuses and spreading pseudoscience, not even pseudoscience, nonsense, and basically saying it proves his point. That's a good point. Suicidal ex-boyfriend within hours of the body being found? Then Periscope's your best bet. But if you want to see Patrick trying to start a half-assed retarded cult, then YouTube's your best bet. And as far as basic introductions, this is merely the tip of the iceberg. I'm on heroin. I'm on heroin. I'm on heroin. I'm on heroin. So the men in black murdered me, but aliens brought me back to life. Um, I've recently retired. You are retired? Uh, yes. And uh, now... Physical or mental? Retired. Retired. No, no, not retired. Uh... And that's what's up. I think Robert almost comes along, comes with a deep psychosis. That was a hoot and a holler. 
Guys, we like to play a game when we watch Patrick videos. The game is called Spot the Dildo. In every Patrick video, you should be able to see at least two or three dildos laying around in the background as he spins the camera around in circles. And if you don't throw up, then you win, okay? It doesn't matter how many dildos you see.